What is the gym record for the PA press? I don't think it doesn't one. exist. Yeah. We'd have to figure probably a hundred kilos. Oh my good! I bet I could do that right now, untrained. No, get out! I of bet here. I could You're do so it untrained. Full of if I do it untrained, You're how much money would you give $100. me? A hundred dollars. I'll give you a hundred dollars. Let's do it. All right. I'm trying to think if I should do it today or try. I know it. your PayPal. I I think I could. I don't know if I could. Maybe I think I could though. All right. Well, let me let me. I do think I could do that. So are we talking about hypertrophy? Hi- oh, you say it now too. <laughs> Win for Earl. Hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. Yeah, that's what we're talking about today. Just make sure you like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go give us five stars on a podcast uh, app, whatever you're reading I at Master Sports. I think the one thing I want to bring up about that. Hurry up. We got to go quick. Yeah. I, I don't understand leaving bad reviews for people because if you just don't leave a review, that's leaving a a. Like you, nobody needs to know. All press is good press, they say, Dane. But I, I, I can't stand on Amazon. Do you think the algorithm cares that it's like, oh, this sucks? They're just like, ooh. Well, now it, we can. I, now we'll feed it to people who don't like this stuff yeah. to get them fired up. Because I swear, some of those social media sites will put things on that you end up reading that you totally disagree with, just because you end up reading oh, it. Yeah, that might... I mean, maybe in that case. So I'm saying for think reviews. Think of it from a larger perspective, buddy. <laughs> Uh-oh, Jason's going to chime in. Here we go. <laughs> Jason thinks it's important. If you're reviewing products, and you make it quick. You need... A bad review helps you know if okay. it's something you should on buy. On Amazon, I guess I get that. Oh. I get pissed. Because it's so personal to you. You take everything uh, personal. Yeah. Like you might be garage right. strength. That's where your... Jason and I are similar. Yeah. Which is okay. Yeah. I get it. I, I can pet your head and rub your head. Dude, I've been shaving my head every day. Yeah. How's that going for you? It's hypertrophic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're talking about hi- hypertrophy day. So everyone, if you didn't... if you don't know. Garage strength uses parabolic periodization. Yep. Churns out elite level athletes and basically anyone in a sport who has come and trained here has reached some gold medal type of level where whether it's at like state competition, NCAAs, world championships, professional levels. Different sports too. We're not talking just football players, just wrestlers, just weightlifters, just throwers, like there's a lot of body of evidence with how it works. So well, you just named like five sports. Though. Yeah, but there's more. Sorry, I'm yeah. trying to be snappy. Yeah. Unlike your shaved head, which is kind of <laughs> like blunt. <laughs> it's like an unsharpened axe. And it's just a... Get back to the... Sorry, sorry. You distracted me. It. Squirrel. <laughs> so parabolic periodization works. Ideally, there's five days when it comes to sports performance. Right. Yeah. Day one is a lower body power day, strength day. Day two is an upper body. Day three is an athlete day. Day four is what you call an impulse day. And day five is hypertrophy day. How do you say that word again? Hi- Earl says it hypertrophy. I couldn't I actually was struggling there. Yeah. Hypertrophy day. And so I think the big thing here is <clears throat> Especially depending upon the phase, you know, typically when you're training five days a week, you're going to be in periods. And let's say we're talking about like a world class athlete. They're going to be training five days a week out of season for, say, six to eight months. And then those four months that they might be competing, that's when the hypertrophy day might get removed and it might go down to four days a week because they've got competitions or traveling, whatever that might be. But the the main factor here is there. there's one you know, we want to work on uh, some structural integrity. So if they've got some issues, they've got some nagging injuries. And this is more an upper body day yeah. too, typically yes. as well. Yes, it's And that's the other thing. It's pretty easy to get done. It's easy to come in and, and, and just sort of zone out and just get that work done, get a ton of blood flow, do high reps, push yourself mentally a little bit more where you can, you can be very, very uncomfortable. But if we have, you know, nagging injuries or, 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 issues from the previous season now we can say all right we got a shoulder issue we got an elbow issue now we can really try and focus on that with a ton of volume uh isolation work and that some body a lot of bodybuilding work and i think that 
the main the main focus you know for us is that it's it is that stability it's alleviating any problems and then finally you start to build out the actual muscular size and so if you can increase the the contractile structure so increase the actual size of the muscle then when we're going through when we're doing the power based days we're doing the athlete based day and we're doing you know, impulse training then that muscle becomes more you know athletic to a point and you you know i always like to think of somebody like sam someone like sam is extraordinarily hypertrophic he has these huge shoulders huge back huge biceps right but he's also very limber he's also very very elastic and that is what you know makes him one of the best literally one of the best in the world and because of that you know we've been able to keep him healthy in his shoulder healthy healthy in his in his back healthy and to a point in his knees as well and that's where the hypertrophy work plays such a substantial role. And a lot of people in sports performance, the functional zealots really will say, you know, you shouldn't be doing bodybuilding based training. And it's like, no, you should be there. There is a lot of evidence that supports this. And the more you can develop that and the more you can use things at higher speeds, like reflexive work and plyometric work, the more you can then coordinate those, those I larger have a silly muscles. question. Why? If I'm in a sport where I don't need like the hulking mass, yeah, how do I use hypertrophic training to do it, okay. but not add sort of that musculature? So this, this like, could be like a weight class sport. So yeah. think about boxing, you know, boxing and MMA, combat, wrestling, um, uh, wrestling for sure, and boxing here, and then weightlifting. Now, and I like to use wrestling and weightlifting because one, they're they're both weight class sports but two they're polar opposites one's extraordinarily power based and one is sort of this overarching mixture wrestling and so one of the main things that i do is if if you have somebody who doesn't need a ton of muscular size the, the then it comes down to focusing on one strengthening specific problem areas that you have but two if you get a wrestler especially let's say we would do you know, sled pulls, homers, you know, a crazy bicep pump, and then some forearm roller, and then they rest for 30 seconds and they do that again. When they're done doing that, they're going to tell you, like, that's how they feel after a match. Their arms feel blown up after a match. So one that helps with the actual, uh, the actual like, it's mentality. Like it's, it's technically like classic endurance training, but localized to muscles. So yes. Something that CrossFit is really big about. Yes, yes. And that's the whole thing here is, and, and, you know, if we had somebody like a, a, a shot putter or a discus thrower, we might do five sets of extremely high volume and we might do it over two or three or four exercises, four usually in the off season. With wrestlers, that might only be two exercises. With weightlifters, it might only be two exercises. So the volume over the global workout might be half for a weightlifter or for a wrestler relative to somebody who needs a little bit more so muscular mass. To repeat what I heard was more exercises. Yeah, more volume for, for a, a bigger individual. But technically less volume, though, too, right? Like it doesn't total out as much. So in that so the way, the wrestler then, would not total out as high, or the weightlifter would not total out as high as the, the thrower. So the sarcoplasmic pump doesn't get as large. Right. Yeah, because you don't need them to gain as much mass. Now, the only other thing is. Unless they're trying to fill out a weight class. Right. <laughs> yeah, if they're trying to grow into a weight class. And here's another issue that I would use it with is if we're in season and if you're you're someone like a ice hockey or or football or somebody like that, I mean even baseball to a point. If if we have games that day 3, I would actually there I would do two things. I would either go right after a football game or a hockey game, I would do a hyper, hypertrophic day. So you're saying this day can almost be used as an active in, recovery yeah, type of day in season. season. Day. Yes. So that's where like you would use it in an in season situation. That's interesting. Here's the day you were talking about to get rid of in season. But but if you want to add in that volume, it's a day that you can use to get guys in the weight room to stimulate them and to, especially right after a football game, come in, get get your heart rate up flush get your get your blood rolling flush out some localized injury and and bring in some hormones bring in some amino acids to those specific areas shoulders are banged up necks are necks are freaking banged up after a football game now you can bring in some more blood flow you do some high reps on you know let's just say neck work or whatever or traps whatever 
you know, you do five sets of five, you know, snatch shrugs. And now all of a sudden it doesn't have to be crazy heavy. Those guys feel better than the next day. Whereas if they didn't do anything, the let's say they have a football game on a Saturday and they come in Sunday to do the lift Monday. They're going to feel better than if they didn't lift on Sunday. Okay. And that's uh, the big thing with hypertrophy is that it can bring in so much blood flow and it, and it helps so much with recovery that it, it it's so f- from a day of the week perspective, like lower body, upper body, athlete, impulse, hypertrophy. Mm-hmm. Here's my trophy. Yeah. Hyper. Um, you get that. You get to that day, right? Usually all the days minus the athlete day, technical coordination movement, absolute strength movement, you know, accessory movements of sorts. Yeah. It feels like this day kind of flips it. Yeah. Tell me, I I know I'm wrong here. It doesn't flip it, but sort of the way you shift your focus flips though a little bit. How does the technical coordination and the absolute strength still f- factor into this day? And I guess even we could probably okay. start out of season because that's, definitely easier than in season out of season the dude typically what i would do for the technical coordination would be more of like a push press or a pa press something like that something pretty easy all right so we're not it's, doing a jerk we're not no, doing a linebacker it's jerk be, a power yeah, jerk no, even it's gonna be easy something that the intensity automatically has to shift down one of my favorite examples here would be what is the gym record for the pa press i don't think it doesn't one. exist yeah We'd have to figure probably 100 kilos. Oh, my good! I bet I could do that right now untrained. No, get out I of here. I bet I could You're do so it untrained. Full of if I do it untrained, You're how much money would you give $100. me? $100. I'll give you $100. Let's do it. All right. I'm trying to think if I should do it today or try I know it. your PayPal. I, I think I could. I don't know if I could. Maybe. I think I could, though. All right. Well, let me. Let me I do think I could do that. One of my favorite examples of this okay so when when jan was training for the nfl okay so he had just been cut by the titans this is when i really started to play around with this day with hypertrophy day i wanted him to come in that fifth day he never liked training the fifth day so he would sort of putz around and just meander so finally i had convinced him dude just give me like half the workout effort right um like just classic football just half ass through half of this workout, you yeah. fucker. And then, we'll, and then we'll get you, then we can like spoon feed you to get the rest of the workout. So he would come in, but what I like to do is we would do PVC pipe walks and then I'd have him do linebacker push presses in his socks. And the reason why I like that is like just to wake him up because he's already sore from the whole week. You know, he's waiting for calls, see if he's going to travel anywhere. Yeah. And on top of that, if he would get a call, like he would oftentimes get a call like the bucks called him and he had just worked out and he had to get on a plane within three hours so this is where during and this was during the season during the season if you're training for the if you're in the nfl and you're you're bouncing from team to team you got to train but you can't be so beat up that you can't go you play. go you go do a, a bad a yeah good, bad tryout so you know this is a good example we were doing those linebacker push presses in his socks he's doing pvc pipe walks and then what we would do, we'd go like four sets of nine close grip bench because he had he had weak triceps. So that's his absolute strength yeah. movement. So yeah. I hear variation yeah. for the absolute. Very, or in dumbbells. Some way to bring the intensity down. Yeah, pause dumbbell benches. And, and you go like right to the border of failing but not failing, but getting a good solid pump at like 75%. Then, you know, you get those two. I just want to clarify. Dane doesn't use percentages. No, I don't. We're just, he, he's just like, using that for an he, example. He for has ideas else. out there, but it, no, it, it's Dane is strictly FOMO. Can you go heavier? Let's go heavier. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it, can you go faster? It is let's complete. Go it's not even meathead. It is lunkhead. Like it is that <laughs> much of this is where I'm going. Yo, you know what I love about that is like this this week and last week when we were at Worlds. All these guys are laying out their charts and all this stuff. And like, dude, I have the charts. Yeah, we've got them. We got them in our book. And I know them like like I know them like the back of my head, right? Yeah. But I'm like your shaved head every day. <laughs> every day. But I'm like, yo, Jason, you should get us a sponsor with freaking the company. Come on. Get us this razor sponsor. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. Give me free stuff, Jason. <laughs> get it for me, Jason. Yeah. Santa Claus is coming to no town. Idea. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell the story. He's like, we're sitting there and they're, everybody's going over everything. I'm like, guys, yeah, like, come on. Like, we know these percentages. We have this conversation all the time. It comes down to like, who can show up to train five, six days a week and who can show up and train heavier five or six days a week? Yeah, all you white coats, get out of here yeah, quick. Yeah, go away. Stop. But, you know, going back to the this example with, with Jan was the push press and the PVC pipe walk. Then we go variation press. So basically a dumbbell press or a close grip on the fat bar or even like a, a Swiss bar, something like that. Something that can really, I always like to stimulate the triceps on the main, on the absolute strength lift of the, of the hypertrophy day. And then we're going right into like lats, buys, tries. Okay. Two groups of lats, buys, and tries. And that's going to help these guys and women feel strong, feel power. Get Just strong. say athletes. Athletes. Yeah, you're right. Feel, Man. feel where most people are weak is going to be lats, upper back, rhomboids, yeah. serratus. Okay, so that's what we're working. 2022, gender neutral, dude. Athletes. Yeah. No, you're right. Man, you're so lame. I don't care about. Oh my, get the f out of here. <laughs> oh, Jason's, Jason's bad at like, me. Damn cause... it! Now I've got to cut out that part of the podcast. <laughs> you curse, so it's easy. <laughs> yeah. There's a seven second clip. Where... Look at it, Jason, so you know when you go for it. <laughs> he's he's like, okay, I got to find the f word and the r word, but not the r word that everybody's thinking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that other one's so much worse. I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. use that one. Well, yeah, that's true. They're both horrible. Uh, so Sorry. yeah, I got you off track. But it, it, the main the main focus, right, is upper body size. And this is where actually when we're dealing with swimmers is this day is actually huge in the off season. Yeah, but you keep talking about presses, though. Swimmers, aren't no, no, they no, doing lats, lats, rhomboids? You're talking about the accessory. How do I change up my technical? Uh, well, I guess you don't. What no. is the technical coordination movement for pools? Is it just like an upright? Yeah. No, like a snatch. No, pull? a horse snatch pull. A whole, kneeling. OK, kneeling. gotcha. Yeah, so if if I'm on if I'm on a, a hypertrophy day, yeah, that's what it would be. All right, good. Horse snatch pull, snatch pull, like a light snatch pull or to target muscle snatch. Muscle snatch would be a good one too. But I really like the horse snatch pull. Those are hard without dude, wraps. Those are, those are very hard without yeah without straps and and that's dude. Those are movements that I was getting hounded on, and the uh, the drops. The Dude. drops because I brought that up. That what that's drops how, when we would clean up to like a hundred plus percent, drop down to like basically seventy percent. Oh yeah, and then go back up when you would hit the volume down I there. Like, I am convinced that that's the stuff that got Haley to hit that last big lift. You're always convinced. You're right. I wish I had your okay. confidence. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not. I'm just. It's more fun to poke. <laughs> Now, once did I say you were wrong there? Yes, that's true. No, I dude, I think the the hypertrophy day though, especially, is just one of those days that I downplay it, and I downplay it even when I speak about it. But it's a and it's an absolute pivotal part of like one dealing with mundane training, but two actually being successful. Did you tell them that you did those drops like that with the lightweight cuz your athletes respond well to volume too and it was a way to like do volume without getting total tonnage or did you just leave that part out? Cuz you do uh, like you know you're right but you do a bad job of convincing people why you're right. That's very accurate as well. Like yeah. You're just like believe me. Yeah. I don't want to give you evidence even though I have all the evidence. I yeah. thought through it 50,000 no, times. Didn't say that. And I've had this conversation with like multiple people to convince myself why I'm right cuz I do ask a lot of people cuz yeah. I remember asking you why are you doing that and that's the explanation you gave me. Why do you give me like nobody who's not at Worlds coaching athletes these because like you thought out good explanations questions and and I think through Thank it you. That was and, nice and I like I like to have a sounding board. To, to think through these things. Yeah. Um, wow. He's going to have to edit that out too. Yeah. I like to, I got, dude, I'm still trying to figure out, by the way, there's stay like, on task, focus squirrel. This, this thing is absolutely amazing in the back room at a weightlifting comp. Yeah. I could just sit there and just, I've never had such easy. This sounds absurd. I mean, I've, I've never been a watch person. You like a mobile look at device attached to your wrist is what he's saying right now. Yes. And I, I can just Haley would take a lift timer. And I'm just flipping it, and wow. I had it flipped it was so on. hard to just go timer. Yeah, but I don't like having my phone out. Oh, okay, I don't. I don't. I like because you get distracted here. too easy. 
No. Now you attach one to your body. <laughs> oh my God, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, you were just complimenting me. Now you're telling me I'm awful. All right, this day's awesome. Yeah. Do it. Like, subscribe, give us five stars. It's also, exactly, it, it's also a great, like, I have been running quite a bit more. I ran six miles the last day I was in Bogota. And one of the big Where'd things, because I wanted to rub that in your face. One of the big things that I found is even for running, doing the hypertrophy work on my on my knees and on my ankles has been phenomenal as well. I running crushes my feet. Because you're a bitch. No. You can't hang with me. You can't you even. have no impulse expression. Oh your impulsivi- impulsibility Impulsi- is is impulsivity pathetic. impulsivity sucks you're pathetic look at you why don't you go star in an 80s film and be one of the jocks and just bully everyone like, I would be, like uh, that's your shoot. complete identity I'd be shoot you should have i don't know who's the dude the kid in the christmas story you could be the redhead and jake could be the one who gasses him up the whole time <laughs> that's who you are you are like that embodiment you just need like a, a crop top t-shirt like the oversized like arms yeah, yeah, and you could put on your football I mean, that's jersey. Like every shirt that I wear, and then you could be my arms are so big. You could be like the dude from uh, Nerds dude, you're or whatever. Balding. How does that make? I, you feel? I told you that already. I also how have a mullet. Someone complimented my hair. And when was the last you time your terrible. hair was complimented? Dude, how about when Earl, I, you, Jason didn't get to see you all dressed up in that one meeting? Oh yeah, I had the tie on on the Zoom. Uh, no, I didn't have a tie on. I just had yeah. a button down shirt. Dude, I dress up nice. Like yeah, you look good. Thank you. For do you a want, loser. Do you want do you want me to make that comment I made again about the <laughs> So Jason has to edit that out. So, all right, let's get to the audience questions. Uh okay. Discord, join it. Reddit, join it. Subreddit, join it. I think what's cool about Join our YouTube c- community. Discord Where are you going? And, oh. And Reddit is like this like dude, we could turn this. People could really learn how to improve their own training just by joining those Yeah. those You groups. can a lot sweet i remember how's reddit been not as active as it used to be but the discord is yeah very, very jason did awesome work when was that was that last was it spring of last year was it t- earlier 2022 yeah. setting all that up getting that community going took a little prodding but <laughs> but he definitely did the work and made it happen Yo, that's hilarious and it's funny Jason's with like I'll kill you. It's funny with some distance from an idea he had and was resistant to like sorry, I, I actually put it out there to doing the work, how much <laughs> it has paid off for him. Yeah, he just and he can see this at you. And from a future Yo, point no, he's laughing right now because he's gonna cut this out yeah, of the video. To see how well he did. But I'm complimenting him yeah. though. So you yeah, he's gonna look, cut he's it even out. crying over it too. He just wiped <laughs> his eye. It was, it was tears of joy coming out there. <laughs> All right, let's go to um, the Discord. King of Kings. Um, Have any ideas for programming before spring football question? I play running back trying to get overall better and have three months with bench, squat, rack, and dumbbells. Bench, squat, rack, and dumbbells. What I would do, bench, squat, rack, and dumbbells. I mean, you could do, uh, here you could do. uh, Download the um, Peak Strength app. Yeah, (laughs) that would be what I would do first. And then, or, you know, I was actually just thinking because I'm programming for uh, running back in Nebraska right now Ooh. training for this and it's dude you could do muscle snatches power snatches and even if you don't have bumpers you can still do that and then and then you push that strength movements like heavy front squats pause front squats heavy back squats single leg squats get our roller single leg roller and you push that stuff and then you know a bench rows anything like that you've got everything that you can have dumbbells you can get everything done there. How strong would you be if you lifted with non bumpers and had to catch the centric every time to not? Dude, I didn't have bumpers until I could clean like. I wasn't asking about you. Well, I'm, I'm just saying like I used to clean 245 and I would reverse curl it down. Man, no wonder you have like big forearms, right? Yeah. Yeah, you said you said I have big forearms. Yeah, you have small biceps though. No one really cares about your forearm, <laughs> like. Unless you're around wrestlers and like combat athletes, everyone's probably like, yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. you know what I mean? And just like, no one notices that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's go to um, YouTube community. Ram. I wonder if he's from Los Angeles. <laughs> like the Ram. Ram. I, I kind of like the like just basic Ram. That's a great, that's a great name. Good job, Ram. Um, 
What would be a baseline strength endurance training program for hiking backpacking? Ooh, Ooh. that's pretty good. I, I would say real easy single leg work, you know, dumbbell snatches, kettlebell swings, uh, again, the single leg work, and then lots of sled work. I have a suggestion, and you can tell me I'm crazy. I would think hiking, you're on very awful terrain. Yeah. So, you- so weird plyometric positions for the ankles. Yeah. And all even, maybe like depth type of movements. Even the like the PVC split squats that we've done. Yes. On stable spots. That that's great. Anything you could put your ankle in, in a, safe, weird positions, not right. like overload Where intensity. It has to co- yeah, absolutely. I'm glad I was able to help you out there. Yeah, man. What Is are they it? supposed to do? Join the Discord. Go buy stuff. We forgot to tell them to buy stuff. Make sure you go to peakstrength.app. Pick up the app today. There's actually a hiking or endurance program inside of the app. No. Buy stuff too, not just. And then make sure you pick up. No, the gar- and tries. Oh, books! I forgot about books and weightlifting and sports performance. But most importantly, buys and tries too. What about so like buying equipment? As possible. Where do they go to buy equipment so they and can then, get like single leg rollers? And, and they go to garage strength so you can technique pick up sticks, single leg roller, technique stick, power elastic, elastic hydro bands. weight. Oh, I forgot the hydro weight last time. So you can get as swole as possible. Until next time, peace. Bye.